So every honor student does a capstone project. This is a project that so many honor students have worked on, and it really is about sustainability. We believe that this is a male thoroughbred who is about 15 to 20 years old. The horse was euthanized in a pathology class. They then saw the opportunity to bury the horse in a pile. They dug it up. Most of the flesh was off, so they spent most time boiling it, cleaning it, labeling, and they had to take out the brain of the head. And then um, we started from those bones. When we got to it, the bones were kind of frail, very dark. If you think about any type of bone skeleton model you may see in like taxidermy or in a textbook, you could see that it's very bright and white and it almost looks fake. We spent actually a really huge chunk of our time last semester soaking them in very concentrated peroxide. So here we are walking through Sally's Beauty asking the employees, hey, do you have, um, very concentrated peroxide we could use, and really just stressed for a long time over getting these as white as possible. You could kind of see some of the breaks and fractures and some of the bones that um, we had to kind of mold with some uh, clay and make it more reinforced. It had issues with its right um, radius or elbow area. Um, so we found that medical hardware on it. Holding these bones in my hand and looking at everything and learning these different things about the fracture on the horse, the confirmation, all of these things really taught me a lot. It took all of our free time. Um, we were into finals week working on this thing. There were some things that we weren't expecting to go wrong. So, you know, we had to sit and brainstorm and bring outside people in even. So the head is actually kind of fragile in certain areas and um, the angling is kind of hard to perfect. So that gave us the most trouble out of everything, I would say. We had to take the head off actually this semester to get it moved up here. They've beheaded it several times and they're like, please don't make us take its head off again. So I really hope in the future students are able to use this um, to study for. They can actually feel the bones. They can compare it to a live horse. So the honors program is meant for high achieving and the most motivated students on campus. So they go through their traditional coursework, but they can engage with faculty in what we do best is applied learning to do projects. They also engage in honor specific coursework which is nice when they're in a learning environment with other high achieving students that want to kind of partake in new, different coursework and opportunities. The honors program has been a huge part of my life at SUNY Cobalt Skill. I've been able to work with professors hands-on with projects like this. So it really has added to my education here and I'm really grateful for joining the honors program. This horse skeleton is going to go on to serve other students time and time again. He's taught us a lot, so I'm grateful that even after he passed, we could learn a lot about horses.